Copilot just released a new feature adding a web browser to a coding agent. And I found this feature very useful, how it can help you to write playwright tests faster. So let me show you how. Uh, this is our test project and I have configured pretty simple setup. We navigate to Bonder Academy and the tests start with validation of the header of the text in this application. And also I have configured a simple copilot instructions like follow best practices, do not add commands for each line of code, write only playwright test steps for one scenario, read and analyze provided DOM context from the browser, create one test at a time and let's specifically ask for multiple tests, prioritize get by role, get by text, keep code clean and focused, don't add assertions unless asked, and for the random test data keep it short and compact. So for our demo it's more than enough. And now let's switch to the Copilot chat. And I am using Claude Sonnet 4 by the way. And as a first step let's ask Copilot to open the test application. So open and I ask this URL, open this URL and Copilot Chat will trigger opening it in the browser. And look, right now browser is built in directly into Visual Studio Code. It does not open it in the separate window in the actual Chrome or whatever browser. And this gives you a very nice functionality that now you have access to a DOM of this application. And you can feed this DOM into the context and so use inside of the agent. So let's try to automate something using this information. In the bottom right corner, you have the small uh, button start. So click on the start right here. And then when I move around the browser, you see it's highlighting for me a different sections of the application. So let's say we want to click on this sign in button. I either can just select directly sign in or I can select the entire section of the header which also include the sign in button. So let me click on that. So I click on this and look immediately in the context of the browser, I have the DOM added to the context. So if I click on this, I have the file that has CSS and HTML for this element. Uh, don't save. And also I have the screenshot of the section also added into the context closing this. And now what is left is just let's write our prompt. And we can say something like this. Continue writing test demo test and click on sign in button and hit enter. And now we expect that Copilot will look into the DOM and will add the next step to our test. Here we go. The step was added. I keep it on keep like this and the step is added. Now what we can do, we can click on sign in and we have a new field. Now we want to log in to this application and I do exactly the same step. I click on start, I select the entire section providing the context. So here we go, we have email, password and sign in. I click on this, this information added to the context and now I keep writing the test. Uh, fill out the form with username uh, pwtest at test.com and password uh, welcome to. This is just a random test data for this application uh, and add um, steps to the current test and hit enter. And now the same thing will happen again. Copilot will look into the DOM, will look into the screenshot, and based on that, we'll add the steps. All right. And I did not instruct that I also want to submit. And submit. Okay, it seems like it's figure this out. So button sign in, is it the button sign in? Yeah, we have a button sign in, email and password. Correctly identified placeholder email and password and we want to keep it. So let's run this to make sure that it is working. I'm running the test, opening the browser and here we go, we logged in successfully. How about now we will continue the scenario, click on new article, submit the new article and then make some validation. So will it be able to handle this as well? So I keep running my scenario inside of this browser. So pwtest at test.com. 
welcome to. So I have access to the next step and I am doing exactly the same. So I select the header, add step to click on new article uh, link. All right. Let's see. All right, this step was added. And moving on, we want to fill out this article with random data and publish the article. The same thing, I select the entire section of this article and say something like uh, fill out the form with a random data and uh, submit this form. And look, I'm not telling exactly the elements I want to interact with. I'm not telling the names of the buttons and all that stuff. So Copilot will figure this out based on the DOM snapshot and the screenshot that's attached to the context. Running this again. And new steps were added. It seems fine to me, except, except I want it to modify to uh, add a title every time to be randomized. Uh, make a test title every time to be random for every test run. Like this. All right. It's created a new constant right here with date now. It will give us the randomized value for the article every time. So let's run this test. and test is working. What is left is just to make a validation that this article was created. So let's complete this scenario. And uh, here I'm going to our built-in browser, fill out this stuff, publish the article. And again, I'm repeating the same step. So I provide the entire um, snapshot of almost the entire page because I want to have the header and the body of the article like this. And then I type add the steps with the assertions for title and body uh, of the article and hit enter. All right, this step is done. And look, Copilot was able to figure out, so we don't want to copy paste the body of the article. So it's created the constant over here. And then we will use this constant uh, in the assertion. So let's me keep it and run this test one more time to make sure the test, did it pass? Yeah, the test passed successfully. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the main idea. You see the built-in integration of the Playwright browser with the Copilot gives you a lot of power quickly bringing the context about your application into the Copilot agent so you can uh, write your test faster in case you can't figure out the locator or uh, want to speed up filling out some complex form or something like this. You can bring Copilot to help you with this. All right, I hope it was helpful. Click the like button and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next one.